gluten-free. Well, welcome yeah, back. Right. Speaking of gluten-free, yeah. we're going to be having mm -hmm. that today. But we are getting ready. We're mm -hmm. showing you some menu items for Thanksgiving. That's right. So we started with gumbo. So now I'm going to hand things over to Bill. Correct. And what we're doing today is gluten-free macaroni and cheese. Okay. Now, if Bill, you're not familiar, cheesy? yeah. No way. Oh. Oh. You've been thinking about that all night, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. He's been preparing for that one. That guy. Sorry. I don't know. That was good. Resist. And you know what? Deep down inside, I appreciate it. <laughs> um, so, macaroni and cheese. It's a staple. It's comfort food, Thanksgiving. But this is gluten-free, and if you don't really know what that is, gluten is a protein. It's added in a lot of wheats and grains and that type of thing. So, gluten-free is basically non-wheat, that type of of setup, it's either rice or eggs or whatever. Not that much difference when you have a lot of butter and as you said, Wesley, a lot of cheese. Now, basically, this is a basic macaroni, but the difference is it's gluten-free flour and gluten-free macaroni. Otherwise, the ingredients are basically the same. Not much of a difference, is there? No, it tastes delicious. <laughs> and I mean, when you're talking about a Thanksgiving meal, you're gonna have plenty mm -hmm. of gluten. Yeah. <laughs> gluten is gonna mm -hmm. be on overload. So if you just make a few, uh, I guess, tweaks to your recipe, That's it. you could just go ahead and cut out a little gluten so you don't even need it. You don't and you, would, you wouldn't really miss it either. Like no. you said, I mean, when you put enough butter and cheese in, right. um, <laughs> you, it, you don't need the gluten. That's right. And <laughs> the reason why we do this, my wife's nephew has a high sensitivity to gluten. It's called celiac disease. About three million people have it. Some people it doesn't bother. I got tested a long time ago and I was high risk. You know, when we talk about severe weather, five out of five, that yeah. was me oh, wow. with the gluten, but I really don't have many problems with it. You know, but some people it can be life-threatening. Some people it can be a major problem. So she cooks this for my nephew every Thanksgiving and it's pretty wow. good. We ended up, the bowl's gonna be gone because it's simple and it's macaroni and yeah. cheese. And Come speaking on. of the bowl, yeah. did y'all yeah. get a chance to yeah. look at this? So this was dish. my mom's and my wife loves to cook out of here. This is old school right yeah, here. That's OG right there. Right, that is. That's you put something in here, the taste meter goes up just through the roof. You can drop this so. on the floor and it's not gonna break. Right, that's true too. This it is indestructible. This this whole gluten sensitivity mm -hmm. celiac thing, that didn't exist when, when I was a kid. No, nope. I mean Wesley's a little bit younger than I am, so yeah. maybe when you were a kid, maybe you'd heard I of it. Didn't but really, hear much. Myself. I did, this Same was, I, and I don't. Maybe it's because of all of the additional stuff that's packed right. into our food to make it last mm -hmm. longer on the shelf, to make it, you know, produce faster. But mm -hmm. it, it, this wasn't a thing, no. and it makes me think. Uh, sometimes when I'll eat, I'll eat things, it doesn't settle maybe like it should, and maybe I should go be tested yeah. or something like that because we just have evolved into Oops. conditions that never existed before. Um, you know, but I'll tell you, this is, yeah. this taste, I, I would not know any different. If you hadn't told me mm -hmm. that it was gluten-free, it wouldn't have, wouldn't have right. mattered. Mm -hmm. And they've come a long way since this started coming out. I had some gluten-free bread back in the day. It was not good, but they've done a lot better. And I'll tell you this, this will make you want to go get tested, Chet, and you guys might too. They make gluten-free double stuff Oreos. What? No difference. I give them two snaps up. Two oh, that's snaps. how good they are. Not yeah. one snap, no, two. two. That's a, so there are some good gluten-free, like there's a couple Italian restaurants here. They do gluten-free uh, meatballs. Fantastic. So some of that stuff you can't really tell. Others, it's still a work in progress. But for those who have that celiac or sensitive, it. it it makes Thanksgiving a lot better because you can eat and not worry about, you know, having issues later on. And that, that one main change y'all that y'all do to the recipe mm -hmm. was the gluten-free flour. Yes. Yeah, it's basic. It's a basic and macaroni. the macaroni. Right. Yeah. Right. And the the gluten-free flour and the gluten-free macaroni. You can do. They have penne, elbow macaroni, whatever. And uh, that's why I didn't put the recipe. I was going to put that. It's, it's macaroni and cheese. So, but the big change <laughs> is gluten-free and uh, the, the flour and the macaroni. But you know, you Perfect. say it, it, it's just mac and cheese, but you know, for us, you know, real serious cooks out there, and I, I, I throw myself- palates. Look, people will say, with, when it comes to macaroni and cheese, especially Thanksgiving, you need a five to seven year, you know, work experience in the kitchen no, that's before true. you can bring yeah. that to that Thanksgiving. Resume. <laughs> well, that's right, <clears throat> that's right. So, um, but yeah. Yeah, Paula whipped this up and, uh, you know, five out of five. So yeah, it's sure. really good. And you know, it's simple, but effective. And perfect for breakfast on Good Morning Mississippi. <laughs> so we're just knocking it out of the park this week. Be sure to come back tomorrow to see what else we cook up on the kitchen set. More coming up right after this. Boom. What are yep. you bringing? <laughs>